going down, Niner Empire, TTC, YouTube, you know who I be. You know, I've been kind of lazy with this whole hate week thing, but guess I'll get right to it. San Francisco 49ers, Tennessee Titans, Candlestick Park this Sunday. We'll see what happens. Now, I'm not really going to dish out any hate here to the Tennessee Titans. Um... I'm not really a fan of the Titans, but I don't hate them. And we only play them once every four years, so there's really not much for me to hate. You know, except for the fact that, you know, the last time we lost to the Titans back in 05. Um, got killed by the, the late, great Steve McNair. And, I mean, those were like the dark days of the 49ers. So, four years ago, that was like a long time ago. And... I can sit here and dish out all this hate about why I think the 49ers are going to win this game. But I don't know. It just seems like lately I'm just repeating myself. And it basically all comes down to execution. If the 49ers execute like they should, they should win this game. But if they sit here and start fucking around and Tennessee is able to get into a groove, we ain't winning on Sunday. Now, don't forget, man, this is a Tennessee team with, um, you know, I mean, they, they don't have Albert Hainsworth no more. Kerry Collins got bench in, in favor of Vince Young, and Vince Young actually looked pretty decent last week. Well, he didn't, uh, he didn't look spectacular or anything, but um, he didn't give away the game or anything. He managed the game, which... His way, I think he's pretty much been doing for most of his career, just like managing games. So, so it, it all comes down to execution and all. Um, I know some of the keys to the game is Frank Gore is going to have to get going somehow, and with the exception of three runs this season, two against Seattle and the 64-yard TD run against Houston last week. I mean, with the other runs he's had, he's averaging, like, I think 2.3 yards a carry. That's going to have to change. Sorry, I dropped something. Um, but basically, I think I think having Alex Smith in the game is going to help Frank Ward out a little bit. See, the way I see it is when Sean Hill was starting, opposing defenses, they were confident that Sean Hill – was not going to beat them with his arm. So what did they do? They stacked nine in the box. Frank Gore came good going. And Sean Hill, well, is Sean Hill. Um, at least with Alex Smith, he's more mobile, has a better arm than Sean Hill. So if Alex Smith can, you know, if, if Alex Smith can be consistent in the beginning, by getting the ball to his receivers, limit down on the mistakes, and please keep an eye on the game clock. That's only really been my only critique of Alex Smith is that his attention to the play clock. And since he's been in so far, um, game and a half, uh, four delayed game penalties. So, you know, so Alex Smith is going to have to be more uh, aware of the of, of um, the. the Game clock or whatever, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, another key is the defense did, I thought, a very outstanding job against the Colts last week. And because of the inefficiencies we had on offense last week, you know, the, the Colts still got the job done. They, they did what they needed to, and they beat us. So, um, so hopefully the defense can have another game like they did you know, against the Colts last week. And hopefully, the, you know, the offense will start clicking. Frank Gore can start finding some holes and open up the passing lane for Alex Smith. Hopefully he can still get it in the crab tree. Um, so for the most part, if, you know, if Frank Gore finds some running room and Alex Smith can, you know, pick apart that Titans pass defense, which I think is 31st in the league, then I, I think we'll be okay. But if we sit here dicking around and just let the Titans hang around, oh, hell no. 
hell no, I, I'm, I'm not going to like that. So we got to we gotta establish our game early in order for us to be succeed. And once we do that, we need to keep our foot on their fucking throats and stomp on that motherfucker. So this is a game I feel that we should win, but it's not a given. We, we just have to execute, and uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, that's pretty much all I got. So, it's Friday. Enjoy the weekend. Got your college games on Saturday. Got your pro games on Sunday. Oh, there is one college game, though, I want to mention for Sunday. It's a Sunday night game. Um, Nevada Wolfpack. The Wolfpack will be in San Jose taking on the San Jose State's party. So, you know, hopefully the Wolfpack can stay undefeated in the WAC. And hopefully, you know, just gear up for the rest of the season. I, I think we still got to play Fresno State. And I definitely know we end at Boise State. So, uh, all right, that's all I got. So, hopefully, the, you know, when I talk to you, the Niners will come out uh, with a victory, which we really need. I mean, we've lost three in a row. So, we're still a game behind Arizona. So, you know, even if we lose, well, I might panic a little bit, but I'm not going to, like, jump off the Golden Gate Bridge or anything like that. But it's imperative that we start winning these games. You know, we have to beat the teams that we feel that we're supposed to beat. Um, I mean, we got Tennessee, then we got the Bears at home. So we, we definitely got to protect the house. We got to protect home field. And we got to start finding a way to come up with some fucking victories. So, other than that, I'm really out this time. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll get with y'all next time. Late.